You ain't going to do shit, nigga. You ain't going to do shit. You ain't going to shit. You ain't going to do it. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. Check this out, man. Daniel Dubois has suddenly went from his status of where he was at to now one of the top heavyweights. You know what I'm saying? A long way from where he was at before. And I'm not saying that he is the best heavyweight or one of the best you know in my opinion he's very close but that doesn't mean that he'll beat all the other heavyweights but as far as status goes and accolades and you know what you have accomplished especially in recent memory right he is top three that those three being Usyk, you know, saying one of the pound for pound kings, you know, undisputed in two weight classes. And then you have uh, Tyson Fury, who's challenging for uh, a, a rematch because he lost his chance at undisputed the heavyweight in their first match against Alexander Usyk. And then now you have Daniel Dubois uh, uh, um, seemingly supplanting uh, Anthony Joshua, who held that who held that, who held that position before AJ, you know. Um, so with his defeat of AJ, he is definitely in the lead when it comes to a lot of heavyweights, man, especially those that are looking for a fight, right? So when you're in the lead, naturally you have a bigger target on your back is exactly what happened with daniel dubois man but hey heavy is the head that wears the crown right that's what they say so you know um daniel dubois man let's find out what he wants let's listen here you prefer a rematch with joshua than to move on to the winner between Usyk and fury yeah i wouldn't mind that i would love a rematch but either one really either one whoever pays me the most <laughs> 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 So we do know that a lot of people want him, hence the big target on his back, but he said he wants the opportunity to fight whoever brings him the most money. Of course he wants a rematch. You know, he'll welcome a rematch with Anthony Joshua if that's what he wants, but he'll love to get the chance to avenge one of his losses in a rematch with Alexander Usyk, assuming that he beats Tyson Fury for the second time. Um, and that's also assuming that Alexander Usyk even stays at heavyweight, right? Because he's he's pretty much conquered the whole division, right? Especially if he, if he beats Tyson Fury uh, again, there's seemingly nothing else for him to prove in the heavyweight division. And he has flirted with the idea of potentially going back to cruiserweight and challenging the undefeated Jay Apatia, you know, the Australian brethren. So um, uh, we'll see. Uh, I, I would like to see a rematch, you know, because the first match between Usyk and, and Dubois was very controversial. And then, hey, if we have, if Tyson Fury wins, um, we could get Daniel Dubois versus Tyson Fury, which I don't think, um, you know, I think that Tyson Fury and Usyk, if Tyson Fury wins, then they'll split it. So I would think that they'll have a trilogy. However, you know, a lot of trilogies don't happen immediately, right? Sometimes they take a break and have fights in the interim. And if that is the case, even still, I don't anticipate Tyson Fury to fight Dubois uh, uh, in the interim between uh, him and the Usyk trilogy because that's too hard of a fight, right? But I can see him fighting Anthony Joshua. That's why he was so mad when Anthony Joshua lost to Dubois because, yes, that's still a difficult fight in itself despite popular belief. You know, all of a sudden AJ is terrible because he lost to Dubois. Dubois, like Dubois is bad or something like that, which I don't think is the case. I don't think AJ's a top guy, but I still think he's a formidable opponent in the heavyweight division. Um, so, well, with that said, the money that that the fight between Tyson Fury and AJ would produce makes it worth the risk for Tyson Fury, in my opinion. So, if he was to win against Usyk and then they had a trilogy, and in the scenario that they don't have an immediate trilogy and they have a fight in the interim, I think Tyson Fury would go the direction of AJ as opposed to a big viable threat at, at Daniel Dubois, you know, Triple D, D, Daniel Dynamite Dubois. That's just my opinion on that. So, but Daniel Dubois said he'll fight whichever one brings the most money. And um, I think that's good, you know, and he may go for an Anthony Joshua rematch. And I do agree with him when he said that he thinks that he'll be even more surgical with his defeat and he could tighten some things up and beat Anthony Joshua in a more um what can I say devastating fashion but while he has while he's looking at what he could do next and he's looking at what he could get out of out of the heavyweight division you know in his pursuit for greatness which I, I would assume includes undisputed like he has said that he wants undisputed as well somebody else that's a heavyweight contender has his eyes on Daniel Dynamite Dubois and that will be none other than Martin Bacoli man you know what I'm saying the dem the, the Democratic of Congo the Democratic Republic of Congo born fighter man you know so Martin Bacoli he's in pursuit for greatness as well and you know he has a lot of sparring history with a lot of these fighters and and Daniel Dubois is, 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 uh, is definitely one of them right he claims that he broke Daniel Dubois nose twice and stopped him in sparring now everything isn't about sparring right a lot of times when you're sparring you know there's different circumstances like 
you know, working on certain things, not going 100%. So I don't like to put too much stock into sparring stories. But man, Martin Bacoli has been talking about this sparring and people have been validating these sparring sessions, not just with Dubois, but with other fighters as well. So I'm not sure if uh, that fight actually happens. I would love for it to happen. I don't think Triple D would be scared by any means. I think it's a great fight. I can't necessarily say who would win. I have to look at it analytically and provide and provide a deeper analysis, you know. Um, but I think that's a great fight. And, um, you know, even if uh, Martin Bacoli does win, or, or Daniel Dubois does win, I think it will take a lot out of him. And it'll be a great fight that I would love to see, man. But I don't think that it happens right now because there's no reason for Daniel Dubois to take that risk against Martin Bacoli, right? It's just not worth it. Like you said, he's either going for undisputed or he wants a chance to uh, avenge a loss in a possible rematch against Usyk or double down on his victory against Anthony Joshua. And I think that all those scenarios, or even fight Tyson Fury if he wins, I think all those scenarios... Uh, um, our priority over a fight with Martin Bacoli because Bacoli beat um, Jared Anderson, but there's a lot of fights where, you know, he still has to increase his stock value in his name, you know, and, but Martin Bacoli, you know, he's looking for, he's, he's looking to become a champion as well. And he'll be the first, uh, uh, he'll be the first champion from an African country um, since 2008, Sa Samuel Peter, you know, Samuel, the Nigerian nightmare, Peter, man, you know what I'm saying? So he'll, if he could successfully obtain a championship in the heavyweight division, he'll be the first one from an African nation. And that's dope man him representing the democratic uh, republic of congo and then you know samuel and nigerian nightmare obviously represent nigeria man nigerian bad man so y'all let me know what y'all think about that do you like the bacoli versus dubois fight how do you think it would go you know do, uh, uh bacoli says that hey man i'll school him for a third time i'm not sure if it's gonna be that easy brethren but we could see and i would love to see it but in my opinion to me being selfish i would love to see a uh, bacoli versus zang next but of course according to frank warren they may exercise his right for rematch against joseph parker who's an interim champion right now too so i'm cool with uh zang versus parker rematch because that was a great fight but i i would like to see bacoli versus zang i think that's a fire fight in the making you know but the heavyweight division is great right now can't forget about ajit kabayel ajit is legit and you know all these other fighters that are out there the heavyweight division right now they're doing their thing so uh yeah i'm just happy for the researchers the boxers y'all let me know who y'all think if i had to pick right now off the top I would have to go with Daniel Dubois to beat Bacoli because, you know, he beat Philip Hergovic, he beat Anthony Joshua. It's hard to bet against him right now as far as his momentum and everything. So I would lean towards Dubois right now, but I'm not counting out Bacoli by any means, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Don't forget to hit that like button. But most importantly, remember, with God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets